Roddy Nation TV, welcome back to the channel. Do me a favor, guys, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video. Okay, before we get started, guys, we're gonna get into this video. It's kind of if you got any kids around, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is I'm gonna give you a warning so you can get the kids up out of the room. This is very graphic language is about to be used in this video. And so I just don't want to let, let this video start playing without giving you some type of warning to let you know if there's any kids around. We want to get the babies and the kids up out the room right now because this video is kind of graphic. So uh, let's get into it. We're going to talk about Charleston White. Is he the most hated man on the internet right now? Check this video out and you, you tell me what you think later on. Killed us a white man, nigga. We killed us a white man. Now you got the right one. You, you a white, you a white boy want to be a nigga. So I already know you weak. Nigga, fuck your baby. My daughter. Your daughter, nigga, fuck that bitch. Come to clean her, bro. No, see, book me, nigga. You, I ain't just coming for nothing. Book me, bitch. Not that I want to hurt anybody. Uh, man, I wake up every morning and I don't have no intention to do wrong to nobody. Well, boy, I would just love. To kill me a motherfucker. Coming to fuck with me by what I done said. I love to be approached by one of these niggas. Thinking they gonna do something to me. And I kill them. I, 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 I fantasize about that, homie. Uh, I'm, I, I practice it. Uh, Cause I know it's a damn fool really gonna try me one day. And I can't wait to make an example out of one of these niggas. Okay, people. There wasn't too much I could find on the net about Charleston White. But what I do know, he's the co-founder and CEO of a youth uh, outreach program called HYPE. And that's H-Y-P-E, the founder and the CEO. And he recently gained a lot of attention, bro, when he came out talking about George Floyd. And, um, you know, you've seen the language that he, he uses in, in that video, and I'm not going to repeat that. But, you know, if you thought that was something, the way he was talking to these people, you should have seen what he said about George Floyd and also what he also said about DMX. And um, now this brother right here, like I said, and he's a motivational speaker is what they say. I, if it walked like a duck and it quacked like a duck, I don't know what it is, people. You know what I'm saying? And now he's a very smart individual. Like you say, like I said, you know, he's... Uh, he registered after, after you know, he like he said in the video, he said he killed somebody. I think at the age of 13 or 14, him and some other people, I think it was like him and four other people, they robbed um, a white guy. Like he said, he killed somebody. They robbed a white kid. I don't know if it was a kid, a white guy for a coat. And it was five of them. And I heard he wasn't even the one who shot the guys from what I heard. I heard it was five of them. And they got, they were one of the first teens in Texas to get sentenced under, um, some kind of new uh, sentencing uh, uh, guidelines that they had for youth offender, violent youth offenders in Texas. And he was one of the first uh, teens to get sentenced under those guidelines. So he never made it to prison. He never made it to prison. You know, he did all his time in juvenile, um, juvenile prison. But I'm not here to bash this brother. I'm just saying, you know, I've heard some very disturbing things this brother be saying online. When I first heard of him, and I start watching some of his videos. I ain't gonna lie. He was very, he's very entertaining. You know, like like I say, you know, everything that comes out of somebody's mouth ain't always just, you know, you know, you just gotta dismiss it because there's some things that he says that I do agree with. You know, there's some things that he says that I do agree with agree with. You you guys may find it hard to believe after listening to the clip that I just played, but you know, sometimes he does say some things. You know, he says he's against the bloods, the crips. I'm not saying I'm against them. I'm saying I'm against violence. You can be whatever you want, just don't be violent. Just don't, you know, step on, you know, other people's toes and hurt people to accomplish your goals. That's all I'm saying. You can be whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you want to be a drill rapper, be a drill rapper. But don't go out there killing people, you know, just so you can make a song about it that's all i'm saying you know we ain't with the violence over here you know everyone got a right to live their life free and uh in, in peace and, and and not the with the fear and threat of violence and i think that's what that's what this brother is inviting to his doorstep he's inviting that to his doorstep now i've also seen him online with a brother named mob james i don't know if you guys seen any of my videos i made a video about mob james he used to be a former death row uh, security guard for um, for Suge Knight, and he's you know he he was with he was with he was with the shit back in the day you know from Ma Paru. Well, the, you know he went down there to see Charleston White and was on a 
was on the on Charleston's White podcast, man. You got these two brothers, man. And I hate to see this, man. We supposed to be here for the kids. If he's supposed to be here for the kids, go online and and look up Mob James and Charleston White. Check that video out, man. It's it's just disturbing to me, man. I'm not here for you know to advocate violence for neither one of you know. I don't. It, I have no stake in the game. You know what I'm saying? But this brother right now, he's the hottest thing on the internet right now. And all I'm saying to is, you know. You know, he's inviting violence to his doorstep. And he you heard him in the clip. I thought that was real despicable of him to say that he's, you know, because he's playing mind games with people. You know what I'm saying? We come from that era. Remember when we come from the era where you say sticks and stones may break my bones, but, but words will never hurt me? That's changed, bro. These people right now, the new generation, very emotional. Uh, you know, they say this brother... He, yeah, I think this brother's about 43 or 44. You know what I'm saying? So he's old enough to know. You see what I'm saying? But I'm just saying the way that this brother comes across, and I think there's, I don't, I, I, I hate to see this brother get hurt, you know, and I hate, but the words and the things that he said, he had his own, check this out, he had his own platform. You can go on the internet, and you'll still see him on there. I think they, they took one um, channel away from him, but I think he has another one. And he's just like loaded on on the um on the internet you know what i'm saying so i mean if that's the type of the type of stuff that you like to hear and that's the type of stuff i mean by all means necessary go and and check that brother out i you know i to me i can't really rock with the way that he's moving right now i can't rock with that you know what i'm saying i mean he, he seems a little contradictory to me you know you know i think he contradicts himself a lot and um and if you're here for the kids and you really want to make a difference, I understand that. And I'm all down for that. But don't invite this violence. Don't invite, you know, uh, the, you know, don't say all this outlandish stuff for shock value. You know, that's what I think is what it is. Of, of course, you're going to get millions of views because that's what they want, man. They want the food. They want the you know, the foo foo. You know what I'm saying? They want the shit. They want that. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. They want that fuckery. That's what it is to me. That's just fuckery. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of people want. They want That's, that's what they want. And, and like I said before, you know, I just wanted to make this video just in case you guys didn't know who Charleston White was. He's been into it with the Bloods. He's been into it with the Crips. He's talked about DMX. He's talked about George Floyd, that they're crack addicts and they and, and, and they deserve to be dead. And he's also talked about uh, Malcolm X. He's talked about the Muslims. He's talked about everybody. I mean, he's a very offensive dude. I mean, and he does it, I believe, for shock value. Shock value and views, but if that's the way you want to get your money, young man. You know, I mean, you. I see you at the table wearing a vest. I see you with the vest. You know what I'm saying? But you, if they make, if they got to make a vest for your head, you need to get one. The way you talk, you need a vest for your head, brother, because you talk very, very disrespectful. And you know, I know you planning back. You sitting back. You move people with your words. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people ain't savvy enough. You ain't gonna beat this man with your mouth. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Ain't nobody going to beat this man with his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He real quick on his feet. Shit. You know, he's a, his tongue is like a double-edged sword. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, karma, like I said before, ain't just a female's name. It's not. Like I said, Roddy Nation TV, I hope this brother make it to where he going or whatever he's trying to do in his life. And without being, you know, inviting that uh, violence to his doorstep, you know what I'm saying? We don't need nobody else dividing our community. We got enough people out there dividing us, whether you black, white, red, or brown. We got too many people dividing this country right now. And he's a Trump supporter. So, uh, go figure. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to end it with this little video. Check this little video out right here of, of, of the, how the black community received this brother. So, let's check this out. And, uh, and then I'm going to be up out of here. Rowdy Nation TV, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. We out. No, I ain't got to say nothing. Who? You got talking about? Oh, boy? Yeah, he talked shit about my club this morning, too. Charleston White? Yeah. Yeah. Charleston White? Yeah, shit talk. He talked shit about everybody. But he ain't going to bust a grape. He over there. Over there. Over there. That's why he out here because he a Trump fan. He a Trump fan.
We ain't here for Nah, he talk all that shit, though. He talk all that shit, though, when he pulling up. Yeah.